What is up, everybody? This is Steve Beach coming to you here today. We got a nice coast into work today. We're not gonna be driving too fast because uh, of the rain. Big game, big games this weekend. We had a lot of fun watching NFL football. Um, I, I can tell you that that, that Niner game uh, was so fun against the Seahawks. It took so much out of me that I, I can honestly say that I didn't see um, the, the Jacksonville comeback, um, probably after like the third interception, uh, and I believe they were up 24 to nothing. I conked out on the couch, and uh, when I woke up to move from the couch to the bed, it was the fourth quarter, it was a 10 point game. I think there was even 10 minutes left, and I was like, man, 10 points is a lot of points. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stay up because there's no way in the world as bad as Jacksonville played, they're going to come back and win this game. And they did. But uh, honestly, in my opinion, the, the second most uh, um, important game uh, is tonight. Uh, and I spent a lot of time complaining about this game, not really making sense to me why teams with the lower seed uh, get more uh, time to prepare for their wild card game. Uh, and uh, it finally made sense to me yesterday. Tampa and uh, Dallas got the Monday night game. And I figured it was honestly mostly because it was Tom Brady and it was America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. They were the more, the, the, the more popular team. They were the more popular matchup going up against each other. More numbers, more people viewing. And uh, that's probably why they got it. But... They're going to have a short week. Uh, they're going to play today and then have to turn around. The winner of this game is going to play against the San Francisco 49ers. Thanks to the New York Giants uh, eliminating the uh, Minnesota Vikings. I am, am pretty excited about the Vikings not being in the, uh, the playoffs. Um, I was a, um, a fan of Kirk Cousins. I was a fan of Kirk Cousins coming to the 49ers a few years ago. Um, and I think he was trying to get out of uh, Washington um, before he got the, uh, the the $90 million guaranteed deal. I'll tell you this much. Minnesota got every dollar's worth out of Kirk Cousins. They didn't win a Super Bowl, uh, but that team was honestly relevant. Um, it was honestly uh, a contender all three years that he was there. I think he's done. I don't really hear a lot about him being a free agent. I think they drafted the quarterback, so I'm not sure if they're going to be ready to move on. I'm not sure where Kirk Cousins goes from here, but, um, you know, that team, besides for, you know, winning in the playoffs, um, seems like they got it. I mean, they've built an offense. They've built a defense. Uh, they're ready to contend, but they just came in uh, the, on the, uh, the shorter end um, against the Giants. And um, I, I, I don't know why on a fourth and eight they threw the ball three yards. Uh, I'm guessing they thought that the, uh, the tight end was going to break loose and break that tackle. And uh, he didn't. And their season ended. And Kirk Cousins looks like a bozo. But uh, tonight, we got Dallas against Tampa. Honestly, in my gut, I think I got to you know, wonder who I want the Niners to play. If, if, if it was up to me... Which team would I want to play? Um, I'm not really scared by either one of these teams. I know uh, I know we beat Tampa this season. Tom Brady and the Bucks that week, they honestly, uh, they looked bad. The Niners just beat him up, chewed him up, spit him out. I, I'm not going to look it up. I don't even know what the score was. That's the way I remember it. And I remember making the video after apologizing uh, to my buddy Kevin, who I've been talking to in years, but I was thinking about it when he went to a Bucks game, uh, a candlestick, I believe it was, and the Niners beat uh, the Bucks like 60-6. to six. It was just a beat down, and this game was a lot like that, and just kind of hoping in my mind that um, the last time I talked to uh, Kevin, he was up in Seattle, hoping he didn't make the trip down with his dad or something like that to see that game and just uh, get their heads rocked. But um, that's just the way it is. But Tom Brady in the playoffs is a different type of quarterback. It's almost like he forgets that he's 45. He doesn't look 45 to begin with. Um, a lot of rumors about Tom Brady coming to play with the Niners next year. The Niners got enough decisions as it is. 
uh, at quarterback next season. Brock Purdy is looking like he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Trey Lance was uh, the number was even the number three pick in the draft just a few seasons ago. He, this was supposed to be the year that he took over um, as the starter for the 49ers. Um, and then you've got Jimmy Garoppolo, who uh, restructured his deal to become a free agent this year. Doesn't really make sense to bring him back, but Niners really played well under him. And uh, if you look at his career starter uh, for the 49ers, damn good record and hard to, get, uh, to, to pack his bags and say, hey, I'm going to love to play against you somewhere else down the road. Um, so I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you look over at, uh, at Dallas, I mean, Dak Prescott, uh, this was an injury year pretty much for Ezekiel Elliott coming back, and his running back was basically <laughs> openly wondering why the hell he wasn't getting his paid, and you look at his numbers against Zeke's numbers, Zeke's numbers really have dropped in the last few seasons, and um, Jerry Jones, who doesn't like to admit mistakes, he doesn't really like to cut guys that he's gave big contracts to. He just kind of like believes in what they did at one point and hopes that he can do it again. Um, he knows that uh, you know Ezekiel Elliott's a star in this league, and um, yeah, and I, I think honestly you, you make Pollard the number one back for the, uh, the the Cowboys. I think that he becomes a star just because of that, but um, maybe doesn't want to recreate that star. Um, but, uh, I mean, both of these teams, honestly, are two of the biggest letdowns in the NFL, not only this season, um, but, well, at least the Bucks, you know, they won it two years ago. But, I mean, like, since then, you know, the Antonio Brown meltdown um, and just, you know, old age injuries, uh, keeping up with them. I mean, it's a lot like what you saw with the, uh, the Rams, so they... they, they they took a risk. They got Stafford, and, and Stafford kind of fell apart this year. Uh, Brady's going to try to lead this team. Um, either way, I mean, I, I think the Niners are going to be all right. When it comes down to it, um, I think I kind of honestly believe uh, in the Cowboys' defense uh, uh, um, more than, you know, the, the, the Bucks and um, – Kind of believe more in the Bucks' offense uh, more than the Cowboys. Um, but, it, but in this one, it's going to be tough, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Tampa Bay win. I tried for a good minute there to say the Cowboys are going to win this game, and I don't know if it's my my disgust of the Cowboys or um, you know not being a fan of theirs or just not really believing uh, in what they got going on. But uh, I, I think I'm pulling... Tampa Bay victory tonight. Uh, it'd be nice uh, to send uh, Tom Brady home next week in a box. Um, honestly, in my opinion, Brady makes most sense uh, to end up in Miami next season. I mean, if Miami's going to get in trouble for offering him an ownership spot um, and then, you know, talking him into playing quarterback and that, you know, basically is the nail in the coffin for his marriage. He, uh, you know, I don't think he got in trouble because he was a player in this situation. The Dolphins had to admit guilt. More than likely, that offer is going to be on the table again. That, uh, that they want him to come back. That, I mean, in my opinion, what the Dolphins did this year, why don't they try and keep Tua healthy, um, improve that offensive line to where he's not getting rocked and concussed week after week? And I think you got something going there, especially with the, the two real good, um, you know, you got Hill and you got Waddle, the two wide receivers. You're, you're building, you know, the, one of the best platforms for a quarterback to succeed. They've, they've got so many um, running backs down there that um, they, they got an offense. We know that. Jeff Wilson left the Niners. He went over there. Um, and then Bosert. Um, is there? Um, you know, they they got an offense, but uh, in my opinion, I think that they're, they're gonna take that sort of sexy. We want uh, a Dan Marino of the ages, and they're gonna try to bring a 46-year-old Tom Brady in to be a starting quarterback. Um, and that, that's honestly what I see going down. That's what I think Miami's gonna do.
big mistake. But, um, you know, hey, we'll see what happens. So, Tampa is my, is my pick uh, in tonight's Monday night wild card game. And then, honestly, my next week pick would be the Niners to be the Bucks. Peace out.